Okay. Okay, hello. Uh, my name is Carl. I'm a uh, algorithm developer at uh, Tobi, where I'm currently working on uh, driver monitoring systems. Uh, but today I will give a quick look at Tracy Profiler. Uh, so first, just a little bit of background. Uh, this started eight months ago. Uh, my team, uh, we had a task to improve the performance on some code. Some of that code was running on a Raspberry Pi. It was communicating with a laptop and there was gRPC and threads and queues and mutexes and the whole thing was a little bit hard to get a grip on. Uh, but I had just been at one of these meetups and seen a uh, great presentation by uh, Mathieu about uh, profilers. So I was a little bit inspired and I asked the team if we could try out some uh, different uh, profilers. Uh, and one of those profilers was Tracy, and it's the one I like the best. So, uh, yeah, now I'm uh, presenting it. Uh, yes, so Tracy, uh, it's an instrumentation uh, profiler. And if anyone has not heard about instrumentation profiling before, I think of it as like a flame graph having... Uh, if a flame graph and a logger had a baby, uh, you, uh, you add some, uh, some extra statements in your code where you are interested in observing your program, uh, but then instead of getting a uh, normal log, you get this nice visual timeline uh, of what your, uh, how your program is behaving. So Tracy Profiler, uh, it's a free and open source tool. Uh, it is technically not a uh, pure instrumentation profiler. They call it hybrid, so it has some sampling uh, profiling included, but I will focus on the instrumentation part. So the typical way you use it is you instrument your code, you uh, build your application that you want to observe together with some uh, tracer dependencies, uh, you run this executable, and at the, at the same time, you start up your tracer pro profiler GUI, uh, and uh, yeah, you start looking at the profiling. Uh, the terms, if I ever use the term client and server, uh, know that the client is the uh, program we're observing and the server, that's the, the Tracy GUI. Oh, and yeah, you can, you can save the results later. So let me switch to first demo. So let's see, we will start by looking at some code. Um, let's see if I can use the mouse. So I include uh, Tracy at the top, and then it's a very simple program. I'm starting up two threads. Uh, in the first thread, I am just sleeping over and over again for one second. And here we have the first uh, Tracy macro. So this is telling Tracy that uh, I want to treat this entire scope uh, as one of the zones. In the, in the profile. And it's smart, uh, smart enough to pick up that the name of this zone uh, should be the name of the function. <clears throat> and then in the second thread, uh, I'm doing, uh, I'm trying to vary how much I sleep. Uh, that will become apparent why I'm doing that uh, soon. Uh, but basically I'm aiming for uh, like a pyramid distribution of, of different sleep times. Uh, and lastly, one last thing I want to show is you can do more advanced uh, macros. So zone scoped N means I give it a custom name. So you can give custom colors, custom categories. There's a lot more than just zone scoped, but I like the simplicity of zone scoped. Okay, and then let's close this and let's try to do some actual profiling. So I will start the application and then I will start Tracy. And hopefully, yes, uh, it shows up. So I have one discovered client, start this up. And now I'm looking at a live view of, uh, of my program. And I can, uh, let's see if I, 
if I can stop the program. Okay. And I can, uh, so I can uh, sort of zoom around or I can, uh, I can pan around, I can zoom out, I can zoom in. The thing I really like uh, is the functionality of if I hold control and I click on one of these zones, Uh, it should work. There we go. Uh, I get a histogram of uh, the different timings of the zone. So you remember I told you about the pyramid? Here we have it in, uh, in a histogram. And now I should be able to... Uh, okay, bad surface for a mouse. Now I can select some of these slower zones and they will highlight uh, up, in, uh, up in this view. So now I can like zoom in on them, see if there's some pattern I can see, and yeah, figure out why they are slow. Okay, so that's the demo. Let me jump back here. Uh, yeah, and let me mention some um, some pleasant surprises I saw and some uh, speed bumps. So first pleasant surprise, uh, I discovered this completely by accident. So I mentioned the, the Raspberry Pi and the laptop. <coughs> I started by, uh, I wanted to profile the, the laptop application. <coughs> but what I saw when I started Tracy was two different programs. And I selected the one that was named after what is supposed to run on the Raspberry Pi. And it just worked. Uh, and it turns out uh, so uh, Tracy uses this term of client and server, and it's not just names, they really are uh, networkable. So the client will broadcast on local network that it exists, and then your server can uh, connect over local network. So I was able to sit on my uh, development machine and have a, like, a really nice experience profiling my Raspberry Pi. And you could use this thing for, for other uh, stuff. The, the example they use in the documentation is, uh, let's say you have a mobile game you want to profile. You can sit comfortably on your uh, dev machine. And if you don't want this broadcasting feature, uh, it's possible to turn it off. You have a defined macro called Tracy no broadcast. <clears throat> uh, first speed bump I had with this tool. Um, so I mentioned it's hybrid. It has some uh, sampling profiling built in. Uh, for my particular use case, I was seeing that that had a pretty big impact on, on frame times. And uh, uh, after disabling uh, the sampling, uh, there was no basically no overhead at all. It's a really lightweight sampling if you just don't have uh, automatic sampling enabled. So to disable that, uh, once again, uh, when you build the client, you, uh, you include some uh, defiance. Okay. Uh, second pleasant surprise was that it was possible to instrument mutexes. So you make a, a small replacement instead of stood mutex, you, you call this, uh, this uh, tracing macro, and then you do the same thing at the, with the lot guard. And, uh, and you get some nice tracking of your mutex. Uh, so I actually have a second demo for that. Let's see if we can do that. And this time I will skip the code, uh, but I can, I can mention uh, I basically used the same code as last time. I just threw in one mutex and some really poorly placed uh, mutex guards. So I'm really trying to get these two threads to, uh, to uh, fight. And this is what it looks like then in Tracy. So uh, the yellow here is when uh, a process is holding the lock. And the red field is... Uh, is uh, the thread, uh, the process being uh, blocked. So I can pretty quickly see then, okay, is one of these processes 
holding it locked for longer than I think they should? Um, or is there one particular mutex? I mean, can, I can instrument multiple mutexes and I can see, okay, one of them in particular is very contested. Uh, so yeah, it gives you like a nice visual view of, uh, of, that, of that behavior. And then one final uh, speed bump. Uh, this might be down to me being a, a Linux beginner, but I found building the actual uh, GUI part, the server, was a pain. Um, Tracy has excellent documentation, really fantastic. But in this case, it's also very honest documentation. Uh, so it has a section where it says that, oh, you will need these dependencies and depending on your uh, distro, you might need to throw in a, a different number or a dev, dev or a prefix or a prefix. And the whole thing was kind of a pain. I, I like the, the throw in a have fun at the end of this. Um, so yeah, I'm not used to, on Windows you get a pre-built binary, on Linux it's have fun. Uh, but this is uh, this is what I had to uh, like install to get it working. So, uh, do I recommend Tracy? Yes. Otherwise, I wouldn't have this presentation. Uh, it's really well documented. It has a lot of cool features. Some I haven't even uh, begun exploring, like the hybrid profiling. The uh, it has uh, some feature to to automatically take screen crops. Uh, screen uh, captures of your uh, application, so you can have that side by side while you're uh, looking at the, the profile result. Um, it has a lot more advanced filtering and statistics, uh, but also, yeah, I can mention sometimes you just need a flame graph. If the algorithm you're trying to improve is just CPU bound, doing the same thing over and over again, then uh, Tracy is not going to give you that exciting results. Um, but yeah, but I, I, I uh, really like it. So, questions? Yep. Uh, we understand you correctly that you had to do the whole instrumentation manually, or is there any tool support for instrumentation? That I know of, there is no uh, tool support. Um, but especially for the mutexes, I think that would have been cool, but I don't know of any tools. If you turn off uh, sampling and you don't do any instrumentation, then you get no events in the, in the profiler. I don't know if it still broadcasts. Um, probably does. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat>